In the previous video, we added a custom tab to the ribbon for this workbook, and it has one group, order form tools, and two buttons, one to clear the data entry cells, and another to print the order form. Those buttons used built-in icons, and in this tutorial we're going to see how to add a custom icon that you've created yourself. I have a simple picture that I created in Paint, and you could use any drawing program, and then save the file as PNG format. So here's my picture. I'm going to use it as a home. So you're going back to the order form if you click this button. You can see the dimensions when I point to it, 100 by 100. You want to create something square and no bigger than 256 by 256. So I'm going to close this. I've created a macro. And if we go to the Visual Basic Editor, the macro name is Go Order, and it just activates the order sheet. So we're going to use this macro name in the XML file. To add the new command and icon to the ribbon, we're going to close Excel and then open the Custom UI Editor and you can download that. It's a free program, and I'll put a link below. I've opened the custom UI editor, and next I'll open the file where I want to add that new icon. So click the Open command, and find your file, and open it. And here's the existing code. Here's our tab, order form, the group, order form tools, and then the two buttons that we have already. To create a new button, I'll copy the code for one of the existing buttons. So I'll select this line, Control c to copy, and I'll click at the beginning, Control v to paste. So now I have a new button. I'll call this button 3, because we can't have the same ID number twice. This one is Home. It's going to be large. It's going to run the macro called Go Order. And instead of using image MSO, it's just going to be an image, not a Microsoft Office image. And the ribbon home image is the name, so I'll call it ribbon home. Now to bring that image in, I'm going to the Insert tab icons. And here's my image, so I'll select that and click open. And now it's added that image to this file. And to see the image, you can click the plus sign beside custom UI XML, and there's the icon and its name. I'm going to check my code, and it's well formed, so I'll click OK, click Save, and then I'll close the custom UI editor and go back to Excel to open my file again. I'll enable macros, go to the order form tab, and there's my new icon with the image that I created. So to test this button, I'll go to the product sheet, then click my button, and it takes me back to order form. So I've added a macro, created my own image, and used it as an icon on a custom ribbon tab. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.